Welcome to Subramani. Uh, with the growing popularity of FIRE, which is financial independence and retire early movement among younger generation, what are your thoughts on its on this movement? Uh, and how should one decide uh, when to retire and at which amount? Uh, this is a good question to ask because many people consider retirement uh, as just a monetary number, right? So, first of all, let us understand the word is FIRE, where FI come before RE. So, right, so aiming for financial independence makes sense. That does not mean it has to lead to retire early. You can be financially independent and still working. Yesterday, I met a 65 year old who is financially independent, has assets in uh, at least two, three countries. Uh, and he's still working, right? He's working as a mentor to a small group of people. He's working, he's busy two, three days a week and other times he spends with his grandson and granddaughter. So that is what he's doing. But then he did, he has not yet retired. He's 65 years. He was financially free maybe when he was 48, 49. But it does not mean he has retired. So, uh, first of all, to think that you know that uh, I need 30 times my annual expenses uh, for retirement. So, what happens at 45, you have annual expenses of say 10 lakhs. So, you say, oh, I have 3 crores so I can retire. Not true. Because none of us can uh, predict what will happen in the next 55 years. Assuming this man lives up to 100 because he is 45 now, uh, uh, will you be able to say what you what expenses you will have over the next 55 years? We are all guessing. So, 30 times might work, 30 times may not work. 30 times will definitely work if you are already 65 years of age. Will 30 times work when you are 45 years of age? We don't know because if was, there is some catastrophe uh, which takes out a big chunk out of your 3 crores. Let us say he, a 45 year old estimated that he needs 3 crores for retiring and he has retired and then suddenly one parent, uh, father-in-law, mother-in-law or his own parent, somebody uh, falls ill to COVID and uh, takes away 40 lakhs out of the corpus, right? So, 3 crores uh, is what you thought uh, mathematically you would need for retirement but uh, 40 lakhs or 30 lakhs is gone in one illness for one person, right? These things can happen. So, you may not have provided for that. Secondly, when you are 45 and you are retired, you may not know what to do with your life. That is true for too many people who don't have hobbies. So, you want to now travel, but you will not find company because your brother, sister, uh, your first cousin, your classmates are all working. They won't find time to travel with you. You may say, oh, Saturday, Sundays are very crowded. Let's go uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. They're going to look at you like, uh, are you from uh, Mars or Venus? Uh, because we can't take time off during the week. We are working. So, your age group people are working. You don't have any other hobbies which you can do on your own. Uh, can you do some running? Can you do some uh, cycling? Yes, but an hour a day. You are not going to spend 8 hours a day cycling or uh, running or swimming. That's not going to happen, right? So, largely, if you do not know what to do with your time, understand that retirement is also about taking care of your health, taking care of your social connect, social contacts, uh, maybe some reading, writing, mentoring, training, teaching uh, and money. It's not just money, right? So, just because you have money doesn't mean you can retire. You Are you physically, mentally, socially uh, fin prepared for it other than being financially prepared, right? That's a question to answer. So, aiming for financial independence, that is FI, makes sense, does not mean it has to lead to RE. Uh, early retirement may not be a great thing, especially for people who are going to live pretty long. Also, both husband and wife have to think uh, the same way. If your wife thinks that she wants to work for the rest of her life, maybe she wants to work till 65, uh, it's going to be you are going to travel and she's not going to travel uh, because uh, which means you're going to travel alone. If, if travel is your thing, if there is something else than uh, some other hobby, uh, I don't know. But so the question is, do you know how you will keep yourself engaged for the next 55 years? If the answer is no, you don't, 
around then i don't think retiring early is a very sensible thing to do so if i aim for it sure by all means uh, save as much as you can invest very sensibly right do all that create your uh, fi corpus once you have your fi corpus decide what to do retirement uh, is just one of the options you can do many things other than retire also but aim for fi that's important that's useful thank you